All right, so welcome to the next section. And now it's time to look for a puppy or a rescue dog. So I wanna clear up a few things first because um, there are a few things out there that are kind of a myth. So point number one, a cheap dog does not equal an unhealthy dog. An expensive dog does not equal a healthy dog either. So the fact that somebody puts a dollar value, dollar value on a dog or a puppy does not give you a guarantee that it's gonna be hap, uh, healthy. <laughs> uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, also, another thing to consider is a registered dog. If a breeder registers with a certain organization um, that they're purebred, again, does not guarantee that they are going to be healthy for sure. There's no guarantee. The only guarantee that they supposedly give with those papers is that they are purebred. Now, there can still be health issues later on in life, but that's beside the point. Just wanna give you that, uh, that clearance there. Um, the other thing to think about too is when you see the parents or you've been told that the parents are healthy, um, does not always mean that the puppy will be healthy. Uh, same as two healthy parents can be completely healthy and they may have a child that has some health genetic something. Um, so that can happen with puppies. Um, it can happen the other way around too. Maybe one of the parents did have something and things can skip a generation. So yes, of course, you don't ideally wanna have a puppy from a, a parent that has a potential health defect, um, but it's, it's just so you keep that in mind. It doesn't make, um, just because one of the parents has a potential health issue doesn't make the puppy unhealthy either. So, so those are kind of the myths that I wanted to just uh, throw out there so you know what's going on. And let's move on to the next section where we basically talk about where to buy a puppy. What I actually recommend you do first, if this is part of, of, of what you're thinking about, is um, save a life. If you can, uh, if you're able to rescue a dog, uh, an older dog from someone else or from a shelter, um, save their life. If that's something you are willing to do, this is very, I, I think anyways, it's very cool that you can help a dog that was for whatever reason uh, ended up in the shelter. If you can save that dog's life, then by all means do that. There are a few things I wanna just mention here because it is uh, sometimes a bit of an, a, a handful that you might get yourself into. Um, use caution when it's a larger dog and you have young children. Um, often you don't know the history of the dog. Um, why did the dog end up in the shelter? Um, was it potentially aggression issues or did the person not have time uh, for the dog and the dog ended up in a shelter? So keep that in mind because um, younger children may not be able to defend themselves if the dog uh, turns, unfortunately. So that is something to keep in mind. And of course, the rest of the history may also be a bit of a, an issue uh, when you are considering a, a rescue dog. Rescue dogs, as awesome as it is, um, to, to help them out. There are a few times where you just need to do a little bit of uh, digging with the people. You need to really ask some questions and sometimes you just need to try out the dog at the property if, you, if you're allowed to take it out and see how it responds around you. And um, if it's a dog that's not trained very well, um, but you think you can still provide a, 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 a really great life for the dog, just bear in mind that you may have some extra work uh, cut out for you there. If you know what you're doing, great. Um, if not, then you may want to go to some dog classes that are more specialized in, in rescue dogs um, because, again, you may have some extra work cut out for you. The other place you want to look for dogs is uh, maybe ask some friends. They bought a dog, ask them where they got it from. Maybe the breeder has more puppies. Um, that could be really cool. Um, somewhat of a sibling maybe of a different litter or maybe they know a place where you can find uh, a really cool puppy. So ask some friends, um, f family, neighbors, um, go on Facebook, ask some friends, uh, see where they got their dog from. Uh, this obviously can help be helpful if you're not sure where to look. The other place to look, of course, is just on the internet. Just type in something, you know, type in a certain dog and breeder or puppies for sale and uh, you might end up on a, on a site from a breeder or you might uh, go on a classified site where maybe a family had some puppies and they would like you to adopt it. 
Um, so check those out. Um, one thing of caution I would like to mention that is you want to go to the place where the puppies are. You want to see where the puppies are. You don't want to just meet in a parking lot somewhere and you meet, you get the puppy, the person disappears with the rest of the litter and you never hear from them again. You can't get uh, contact information or stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. You want to kind of avoid that kind of um, meeting or delivery kind of stuff. Um, same with shipping. Um, just use your judgment. Be careful because unfortunately there are places out there that don't operate the way they should. Um, so use your own judgment. I cannot um, tell you all the possible situations because I don't know. So keep that in mind. Uh, you really ideally want to just see where the puppies are so you can kind of get a little bit of a feel in their natural environment and pick out your puppy and that'd be awesome, right? Um, the other thing I want to mention about shipping, um, you want to just, uh, I know that it's not ideal, put it that way. It's not great to send a very young puppy uh, by itself in an airplane, but there are situations where you live in, a, in an area in the country where there are no breeders for your particular desired breed. Um, so you look elsewhere. You, you, you just, if you're not into the big dogs and you want a small fluffy dog, you may have to look elsewhere. And uh, hopefully for you, in that case, they ship the puppy uh, to your place. Um, yeah, so just uh, keep in mind that there are certain times a year when they don't ship the puppies, um, usually around holidays when it's really hot or when it's really cold, depending on where you live. Um, so sometimes it may not be the right time for a, a puppy to come to your place. And of course, uh, you wanna always, always, always have phone number and address from the person you got the puppy from. Just in case you ever have questions, you can always give them a call and ask if they know something uh, about the puppy, of course. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, the other um, thing that you can look for, of course, as I mentioned earlier, is maybe a family that had puppies. Um, that can be uh, really cool. Maybe you have a friend that had some puppies. Just when you have uh, um, a person where you get the puppies from and they bred their family dog, just keep in mind that they may not always vaccinate, vet check, uh, deworm the puppy and they may not be able to give you a guarantee usually you want to have uh, a puppy from someone that's more established so you can have a guarantee uh, with the puppy as well so you have a bit of a, uh, a backup that way so just keep that in mind all right we'll see you in the next video